Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically send message with PDF file on WhatsApp. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is a Google sheet that I have built. It has been titled PDF file direct. And we have some columns like name, phone number and PDF link. So the idea is that I'm going to enter some details of a particular person and that person will be getting a PDF link or a PDF file on his WhatsApp number. So let me show you how it's done. So first of all, I'm going to enter a name. So the name is uh, Sylvester. Okay. And basically this is his uh, phone number or the WhatsApp number. And now I'm going to enter the PDF link. So we do have some choices here. Okay. So this is one PDF and this is the other one. So how about I go with this one? Okay. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So our PDF link has been entered. Now the idea is that Sylvester will be getting this PDF on his WhatsApp number. So let me just uh, straight away take you to uh, Sylvester's WhatsApp profile. Okay, so as you can see, this is the WhatsApp message that Sylvester has received. Sylvester, this is your free PDF file. Please download it and enjoy. And Sylvester is just going to uh, click on this link. And as you can see, the same file has been downloaded. Excellent. So you're obviously thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Google Sheets to WhatsApp? So basically here I have used an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Google Sheets and WhatsApp. Now the best part of using Pabli Connect is there is actually no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you the process. So basically in the new tab, just type pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Now, before we begin the process, there are three things I have to tell you. First, we are using chat API to send the WhatsApp messages. Second, Pabli Connect doesn't own chat API. Chat API is a third party software we use to send WhatsApp messages. Third, and perhaps the most important thing, chat API is a paid software. Although you can use chat API on free trial for some days. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com, hover on products. And here you will find the option connect click on connect okay so this is the landing page of public connect just click on sign in okay so this is the dashboard of uh, public connect as you can see i already have made an account in public connect you can also create your own free account in just two minutes let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect just click on access now Okay, so basically now we are going to create a new workflow to integrate Google Sheets and WhatsApp. So that is why let me just click on this button, create workflow. Okay, so we have to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets. Google Sheets to uh, WhatsApp. And in the bracket, let me just type PDF. Okay, and let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will have two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So now the gist is we are just trying to uh, create a new workflow to integrate Google Sheets and WhatsApp. Now uh, you should know that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box in case if you want to clone it and directly access it into your account. Now this is the trigger window and basically we want to send the data from Google Sheets. So I'm going to mention the trigger app as Google Sheets. Google Sheets, this one. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row? Okay, so new spreadsheet row is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if this condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new spreadsheet row is created, then what action should be taken by the system? Now uh, we do have only one trigger event that is new spreadsheet row. But in case if you want more trigger events, all you have to do is just approach the help section. So when you click on the help section, you will be straight away be directed to Pabli forums and Pabli forums here. You can make a request that you want so and so trigger events. Let me cancel this. Okay. So basically the gist is at the first stage, we are going to integrate Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. Now there is a new Google Sheet that I have created solely for this purpose. Basically the idea is that we are going to begin from scratch. Okay. So the title of this Google Sheet is PDF share and we have the columns name, number and link. So what's next? So basically the idea is that we are just trying to integrate this Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. So first of all, let me just click on add-ons. Click here. And here in the add-ons, you will find an add-on called as Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now remember this, Pabli Connect Webhook is an add-on that I have installed in my system. 
Now since you are beginning fresh, Babri Connect webhooks might not have been installed yet. So first of all, just click on Get Add-ons. Okay, so when you click on Get Add-ons, in a new window, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. In the search, all you have to do is just type Babri Connect webhooks. Babri Connect webhooks, this one. Okay, so it is showing the Pabli Connect webhook is already installed. All you have to do is uh, just click on this button and Pabli Connect webhooks will be installed in your Google Sheet also. Now, there's something I have to tell you. After installing Pabli Connect webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat this again. After in installing Pabli Connect webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. Let me cancel this. Now, there is something remarkable I have to tell you. As you can see, the last column, okay, column C is our last column. So remember this, this is something will come handy in few steps. Okay, so column C is our last column. Okay, so let me just click on add-ons, Pabli Connect webhooks and just click on initial setup. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. So first of all, we have to enter two things, the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. Now let's start with the trigger column. Now always the last data entry column is always the trigger column. I repeat this again. The last data entry column is always a trigger column. In our case, the last data entry column is column C. So that is why I'm mentioning the trigger column as column C. Now what's next? So basically now we have to enter the webhook URL. So this is how you get the webhook URL. You go to public connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. You copy this and you simply paste it here. Okay, easy. And just click on submit. Okay, so basically at this point you have integrated this Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. That or there is something else you have to do. Go back to add-ons, Pabli Connect webhooks, just click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column C is filled, it will keep sending on the data. Doesn't matter which row it is. Okay, so basically at this point we have integrated this Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. Now let's check, can Pabli Connect capture this data? Yes, it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is we are going to conduct a dummy experiment. So let me enter some details here. So we are going to enter the name as John. Okay. And let me just add the number. Okay. So we have added the number where we want to send this PDF. And let me just add the PDF link. So this time I'm planning to send this particular PDF. So let me just copy this. Okay. And here I'm just going to paste it. So this is the trigger column has been entered. Okay, so we have entered the link. So the trigger column has been filled. So basically the system has been rigged. It basically means it will send the data to Pabli Connect. So let's have a look. Let's have a look whether Pabli Connect, since it is integrated with this Google Sheet, has it captured this data or not? So yes, we do have the data. So we have the name that is John. This is his WhatsApp number where we will be sending this particular PDF. And then we have the row index that is basically telling me that this is second row. Excellent. Now what's next? So now we basically want to send this link or this uh, PDF to John on this WhatsApp number. And we are going to use uh, chat API to do so. Okay, so now remember these things. Chat API is used by Pabli Connect to send WhatsApp message. Chat API is not owned by Pabli Connect. And perhaps the third and most important thing is Chat API is a paid software. Okay, so in the Choose app, let me just add Chat API. Chat API it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as send a file because we basically want to send this PDF file. Let me just click on connect. Now in the API URL, we have now in the new connection name, we have to enter the API URL as well as the token. So to get the API URL, let me just straight away take you to chat API. Okay, so at present my phone is not connected. So let me just reconnect my phone. Okay, so my phone is getting reconnected. So let me just uh, copy this. This is my API URL. Let me just copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, now with regards to the token, so this is something again you get from the dashboard after you build your chat API. This is my token and I have pasted it here. Easy. Let me just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, you have some fields. The purpose of these fields is very simple. We are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from Google Sheets via Pabli Connect. Now we have the first field that is contact slash group. Now we want to send the message to an individual person. So we are just going to ignore this. Now we have to map the phone number. So this is how you do it. You click here and uh, this is some data that we have received from our Google Sheet. Okay, remember this. This is the data that is basically the phone number. So this is how you do it. You go to the first accordion and you mapped it easy. Okay, now we have to basically map the body. So basically this is your body and that's the link. Okay, and we have mapped it. 
Then we have the file name. So basically the idea is that in case of file name, I'm going to add John's name. Okay, John is definitely not the file name, but uh, the idea is that it should represent something like hello John. Okay, so that is why hello and here let me just uh, map the name. Okay, hello John. Okay, so this will be our file name. Okay, so we have entered all the details, the phone number, the body and the file name. Now let me just click on save and send test request to send this message. Okay, so as you can see, the API response is positive. The message has been sent. So let me just straight away take you to the WhatsApp profile of uh, John. So as you can see, he has received the message. Hello, John. And he is going to just download this PDF. Excellent. Now, uh, before we end this, there is something I have to do. Now, uh, this is a simple message that has been given to John. So basically, he's just going to download this uh, file. Now, I'm planning to send him a message. Okay, so this is again strictly optional. In case if you want to do it, you can do it. It's not really necessary. So let me just add a method to give the message. Okay, so that is why I'm just going to introduce one more uh, window. So one more action window. And in the action event, I'm just going to click on send message. So basically, the idea is that along with the file, we are just going to uh, send a message. Now we are not going to fill the API URL and the token one once again. So let me just click on choose existing app connection and let me just scroll down and let me just go to the chat API. So basically this is the recent connection. Let me just click on save. Okay. So once again, we have to uh, enter some details. Now uh, with regards to contact slash group, again, we are just going to ignore it because we want to send it to an individual person. Now this is the phone number and we have mapped it. Okay, so let's enter some message. Okay, some warm message. Hello, John or uh, Hey, John. Okay, and let me just map the name. So this is something you get from the first uh, accordion, that of Google Sheet. Hey, John. This is your uh, PDF file. Please download it and enjoy. Now I repeat this again, this is uh, strictly optional. If you don't want to send this message, you can also avoid this uh, action window. Okay. Hey John, this is your PDF file. Please download it and enjoy. Excellent. Let me just add a full stop. Okay. So again, all we have to do is just click on save and send test request. Okay. So the response is positive. So let me just uh, straight away take you to the WhatsApp profile of John. So this is the WhatsApp profile of John. Just imagine this is the WhatsApp profile of John. Okay, so this is the message he has got. Hey, John, this is your PDF file. Please download it and enjoy. Okay, so the presence of uh, this uh, message shows that we have successfully integrated Google Sheets and WhatsApp with help of Private Connect. Now, before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. Okay, so one by one, I'm just going to minimize all of my windows. So I have minimized the trigger window. I have minimized the action window. I have also minimized this action window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect. And then you have made sure that using chat API, you have sent this file. Now, this uh, process is strictly optional. It, if you want, you can do it. You basically composed a message and then you have sent it via chat API. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and WhatsApp. Now, in case if you like this video, please share, comment and subscribe. Furthermore, if you have any queries, please visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.